Chapter 165. It's a curse. Finished killing the ninjas, and now is the custom chewing. This is a different taste from both the knights and the bandits. Does a human's taste change depending on the job? Perhaps, isn't it delicious when it's a pastier? Patisseur? Patisseur? I don't know what that word means. Well, let's leave the stupid delusion. I must have him pay for this. Willful dispatch the ninjas? Wishful. Eh, wishful dispatch the ninjas. It's that middle-aged man in all probability. I wait and see the middle-aged man who stays in town with clairvoyance. Even though it's at such a midnight, the light in the room is still turned on and he's walking around restlessly. Did the attendant can't be indifferent? The attendant said something and was shouted back. Ah, if you let out such a loud voice in the middle of the night, it's a neighborhood nuisance. However, he's obviously behaving suspiciously, so he's definitely the criminal. He's the criminal, right? I'm neither a great detective nor a good person. There's also the pent-up anger so far, so if he's... So, eh, even if he, he's no the criminal by any chance, isn't it fine? At that time, I can just find the real criminal and kill the person. I manipulate an invisible thread spread in the town. Because it's so thin to the extent that it's invisible, it can enter the room easily from the gap of the window. I wrap it around the foot of the middle-aged man gently so that it's not noticed, then deadly poison attack activate. Normally, it's a poison attack that shows its best effect by invading into the body, but contacts still has damaged slightly. The middle-aged man's status is the same as the commoner, or rather it's slightly lower than that, so if it's my very powerful deadly poison attack, even the contact damage is enough. The middle-aged man falls suddenly, without being defensive of feeling like thud. Ah, from the back of the head. It seems painful. Well, he will no longer feel something like pain, though. The attendant who runs up to the middle-aged man in a hurry. The middle-aged man's body is shook desperately to wake him up. Unfortunately, that person won't wake up anymore. When the attendant is upset, I recover the thread that wrap around the leg. <laughs> I can't help but to say that it's a perfect assassination. I'm sure that not many people can find out that this is an assassination. Besides, no one will think that I'm the one who did it. It's certainly perfect. Perfect crime completed. It's beautiful, even if I do say so myself. Well then, the nuisance has disappeared, so let's sleep. Disappeared. Mm. Because I have the abnormal condition nullify that has the effect of sleep nullify, I don't need to take I don't need to take a sleep, but it's the problem of the feeling. It's a happiness to sleep comfortably, eat and sleep. After all, a healthy mind dwells in a healthy life. Well then, good night. Good morning. Mm. Because I finished a job last night, a fresh awakening. It seems that good things will happen today. What happened after the middle-aged man died? I look at the mansion in the town where the middle-aged man had made a base. The, that middle-aged man used one room of the vampire child's house in the center of the town. Although that means he has the power to that extent, if he dies, power does not have a meaning. Money, honor, and power will all be lost if a person dies. The state in that mansion looks busy. The man who seems to be the vampire child's father gives instructions to the servants while having a tired look. Perhaps did this continue the whole time? Well, a mysterious and unnatural death ca case happened in this mansion after all. He woke up in the middle of the night and moved around when he was on the verge of sleeping all the time. I appreciate your efforts. I mean, there are people who have a pale face other than the town chief who have a tired look. It's that middle-aged man's attendance. A splendid pale face that seems to die at any moment. Incredible. Human's face can become pale to that extent. It's my first time to see such a human's face becoming pale like manga. Uh, generally, the people who confronted me became pale, but it was not to this extent. The master dies suddenly, and, in, and is he doubted as the criminal? It's wrong. If it's the attendant who was in the place yesterday, it can't be helped to doubt him. But the others are not in the room, so I don't know why everyone becomes pale. Uh, do they think that the next one to die is themselves? Although that seems possible, because nothing happened, even one night passed, it seemed to calm down. Whenever the town chief talks to them, they say something while feeling scared. Really, what have happened? If it's merely the master died, there's no way they'll become so pale. I'm interested. But because I don't know the language, I don't know the details. Mm. It's inconvenient when I don't understand the language. It would be better if D made a language translation function. It's tough that what's translated is only the system. Well, if the system is even in, in the language of this world, I will be checkmated, so I'm thankful there. Although it seems that I will come to understand it someday if I make wiretapping the town as a daily routine, I don't know when it, when is that someday. Now I only understand a few words. It's mainly the name of the sweets and fruits, though. With this condition, it seems to la at least take years. Ah, I wonder one year this world is equal to how many days on Earth. I don't even know that. Hmm, can I learn language quickly? It would be good if there's such a skill. There's no such skill. When thinking about such a thing, the voice of heaven is heard suddenly. Individual Zanaharoa has unified with individual Queen Terratact. What? What? Unified. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Quick side note here. This is something I thought about a really long time ago, but there are interesting parallels between the lore of this world and the movie... Uh, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. <laughs> I thought about it once, and I just couldn't get it out of my head, and I think it's hilarious. So I think you should know 
that uh, in that movie, it's about a child whose imagination is so strong that he creates this world, and then this world comes to life, and actually need, they, they need to bring him into this world, into this imaginary world, to solve the problems. And uh, the, this, this, it's, it's just a similar situation because D has this created world, and this created world is such its own structure that at some point it, uh, it breaks into the fabric of the real world, and people get sucked in. It's not the same story, but but it's interesting that the uh, that the basic like the explanation of the world building is very similar. <laughs> I don't know if D is just a person with an active imagination or literally a god, but it is funny that that uh, you can draw that uh, connection.